All right, guys, so here we go. Day number two down at Table Rock. We spent Saturday all night fishing, all night into Sunday. Sunday, we take a quick nap. Riley and I get up, put the boat in the water at 5 o'clock, and we just get back at it, start fishing. Um, a little bit jumpy because my SD card crashed in one of my cameras, so I don't have some of the intro and extra footage for the beginning of the evening and the end of the evening. But we did get some good pictures. We did catch some good fish in the evening into the night. Um, nonetheless, it was just an absolute blast. Riley and I were laughing, having a good time, catching some good quality fish. And let me tell you something, Table Rock is such a beautiful lake. It's crystal clear in most parts. And this is the first time I've actually been there where it was clear because the last two times I was there it just flooded and the water was still dirty. But this time, the top water bite was phenomenal. We never really did get into some giants. We were hoping to find them um, up the white, but we did find the largemouth that we went there to find. Um, finding them fry guarding, absolute, you know, unreal to think that it's almost June or it was almost June and finding little bitty fry garters. I mean, just tiny fry everywhere. So that means these fish had just finished spawning. And then we also found sun or uh, Monday morning, Memorial Day, as the sun just started to creep up, there was just a massive shad spawn all over the bank. I mean, you just see all the shad flickering on the bank, but we could not find any fish around there. So my thought is, all these bass were in the backs of the coves for the most part, and these shad were spawning on the main lake. So we couldn't find any fish around the shads because they were still in the backs of the coves, you know, fry guarding, or the females were just working their way out. So needless to say, absolute fun time. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you get an opportunity, go down on Table Rock, catch some topwater fish. It is a blast watching them fight way down deep. So enjoy this video. Alright guys, so we noticed that the water's a little bit dingier up here. Um, we tried uh, spooning some docks and that didn't work out. Then we tried flipping some bare bank, that didn't work out. So we're going to come back into the very backs of these pockets. It's a little dirty too. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff floating around. <laughs> um, but we're going to go to the back back here, try some top water. Because today we're looking for largemouth. We know where to go catch some smallmouth and we know how to catch them. But we want to find these big largemouth where they live. So that way when we come back here, I've got tournaments in the fall. And um, hopefully that'll expand my knowledge of this lake so I can have a chance to compete in the fall um, when we have our state championship. So we're going back. Let's try and catch a large amount. All right. Yeah, no. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Did you see that? Heard it. Got him. And a large mouth. <laughs> All right, came back for a largemouth, small keeper. Just uh, just starting to get a bloody tail, I think. Wow, that's unusual. So, let's let it go. Pick up this jig. And skip this. Hold on. <laughs> God damn. Did you see that? Yeah, he must have been laying under, underneath well, us. there's a ton of fry right there. Look. Right there. Yep, there's a bunch of fry right there. And when I flip that in there, as you saw in the video, that fish ambushed it immediately. So what that tells me is we got fry garters, shallow. So if we would have ran all the way to the very back. We caught a bunch of dinks. We, no, no, the very back. Them big males, the big three pound fem or males will be sitting back there fry guarding. Oh, sure. oh yeah. Well, I'd flip right up under that log and stuff because that's where they'd be sitting. Nice. Treetop. Treetop! Yeah, I'd think there'd be one right right under that log. That's my shit in my life. He's got a fucking nipple over there. It's running. Alright. You're right. 
<laughs> little guy. He sat still with it for a little bit. <laughs> well, I watched your line move and I was like, it's running. <laughs> Riley, was I right? No. <laughs> he won't admit it, but hey guys, we're, we figured out a good largemouth bite. Uh, we came in the backs, we're fishing shallow, we're flipping around uh, little laydowns, you know, kind of stomps, logs, treetops uh, tree of laydowns, stuff like that. And uh, we found, what, three largemouth now? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're having, uh, you know, put a good pattern on together up here. We haven't caught any size yet, but for the first, what, 35 minutes of fishing, we already caught three fish. Uh, that's not too bad. So we got a good pattern. Now let's go get a giant. I don't know. We need to get away from this type of bank. We need to get to uh, a rock. It didn't eat up this water too much. In the face. In the face. Yeah. Whew, save my glasses. Right. Always wear your safety glasses. <laughs> yeah. Hit me in the glasses. Yeah. Little spot. Yeah, because I don't know what it's like. Hello, little. Ooh, wow, he probably about got you in the face. In the face. Alright, so we found a fry garter, we caught several, learned the importance of safety glasses. And uh, <laughs> not seriously though, if you're fishing, you really should wear glasses or something to protect your eyes because something like what just happened, it, it could be worse. You, you've seen pictures of uh, some of the terrible mishaps that have happened. Uh, but now we fish in the back, we found the pattern, largemouth. I hooked one that was probably three, three and a half, and uh, didn't get in the boat, but I had it for a second, we saw it flash. Now we're gonna come out to the main lake, see if we can't figure out a pattern out here, and uh, just go from there. <laughs> Got to put down that Mountain Dew. There you go. There's a good one. Another large That's mouth. A little guy. Well, I ain't a little guy. Look He's at fighting. it. He's fighting. <laughs> it is so cool watching them fight. Yeah, well, we're used to them up the mud. yeah and you can't even see the fish. Another small keeper. <laughs> He's just still popping it. I'm like, did you know it went under the water? Nice guy. Okay. Get ready for the show. Woo! All right, guys. So we found the largemouth way up here in the white, and we're uh, we're having a good time, no doubt about it. And I mean, he just came up and. <laughs> so you like. Yeah, that's why I thought he was bigger than what he was. But Either you want them to suck it under, just like that. <laughs> Come airborne. Or just go ape, ape dog crazy. Step in front of my camera. That's not a bad one. No, oh, this is about the size of the last one I had. He came back for it that time. You're gonna make me pick up my food. Oh, he's gone. Can you believe that? Oh yeah. Did you grab it? What? In the heck? Keep reeling. It's floating. No, it's not. Keep reeling. Oh god, he <laughs> have it. I told you! Oh my gosh. 
I'm not pinching on it, and I never felt him. <laughs> this is a good one. Oh, That's boy. That's a good old brownie. <laughs> You're going to get in the boat so we can see you. <laughs> nice. That's the big fish of the weekend. Ah. Oh. I think that's what hit me back there too. Hey Riley, nice one. Yeah. That's a three and a quarter. Swimming towards me. <laughs> I was like, um, I don't see your bait. No, I can't reel. Looks like I got my drag set too tight. <laughs> <laughs> trying to break off or pull that limb in. Yeah. That must be a small one, big one. I'm just reeling. I'm not getting anywhere. Winch, winch. Oh, you got to hook sideways. Maybe. No, he's in the mouth. No. Nope. Slap that. <laughs> yeah, you can risk it. Oop, there's a low one. Got him. No Kentucky. Look at him run. He's just like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Look at all those minnows jumping too. Right. Yeah, he's just running. Where are you going? Are you even reeling it? No, I'm slowly reeling, but look at him. He's just still going. He's just going and going. You little guy. Thanks for biting, dude. Little guy. No. So as I was saying, we ran all that way, <laughs> and the boat ramp is directly to our right. <laughs> there you go. Let's throw this one back. All right, guys. There you have it. Awesome. Two days on Table Rock. Last night we uh, we ended up needing to get a little bit of sleep, you know, because we fished through the night on uh, Sunday and uh, or Saturday night, I guess. And last night we decided to take like a two-hour nap and got on a good topwater bite. Just not the topwater bite we had on Saturday or Sunday morning. The smallies were everywhere, exploding. It was just fun to watch it. But we did get on a good topwater bite with largemouth, you know, up here in the white. And now the sun's coming out. It is. Uh, Memorial Day and the lake's starting to get busy but we're gonna go ahead and get off the water hopefully some of this has helped you but also at the same time don't forget you know this isn't just a holiday for barbecue and spend time with family this is a holiday to remember those who have served those who are um, you know have suffered through you know loss also because this is a day where a lot of people are remembering loved ones so just keep in mind that is the whole point for this day and um, it allows, like I've always said, guys like Riley and I to come out and catch fish and have a good time. So you guys take it easy. Riley, sign us out. Bye.